In this video, I'm going to showcase an absolutely stunning estate within the greater Accra region in an area called Sakumono to be specific, very close to the beach, not far from Palace Mall, about half an hour from the airport. The location is absolutely amazing. As you can see, look at this background, so stunning. The prices are also very, very competitive. I can't wait to show you guys what it looks like. There's a pool area, there's a little chill sitting area, there's a kids play area. They're still in the process of building this up, but for the most part, if you decided to live here right now, you get to enjoy all of this anyways i'm so excited to show you guys what this place looks like and i'm excited to let you know what it costs it's you you won't believe it it's super affordable let's get right into it let's go and check out some of these beautiful apartments and then the homes that they have as well So starting off from the pool area, as you can see, there's this beautiful pool right behind me. It goes all the way from two feet up until five feet. So you have an area for the kids. Five feet is not too deep either, you know, it's, it's safe. It's nice and safe. Let's go and let me show you the rest of it. I love this space. I love the walking area around here. There's so much space to move around for kids. And then the balconies are just on my right hand side of this building. And then the one on this side, the balconies are on the left hand side. So you can easily stand up there while your kids play around here and then you can watch them. So this place is very well planned as you can see. They have these royal palms on the right and the left hand side along the walkway. The landscaping is absolutely beautiful. This is one of those places that's already been occupied by several people. So it's not one of those places that's now being built or anything. Most of it is already done so once you buy it if you don't want to live here you can easily rent it out because you know a lot of the time when it's a new estate and there isn't too many people there people are not really interested in living there yet but here you're rest assured that most of it i think there's a couple that's already sold out and they're working on the newer projects and the road that leads to here is all done there's no dirt roads or anything like that and within the estates is all done as well as we keep walking on my left hand side they do have a little summer hat that you can sit get fresh air clearly the people that live here all utilize this space and then there's a kids play area right across from me they have these sliding things on my left hand side and then on the right hand side they have like a, what do you call it i'm too big for it i'll have shown you <laughs> they have you know these horses that you can sit on and then it, i don't know what you call it and then it moves from the left to the right. And then they have swings here as well. I'm sure the swings can be used for both like adults and kids. So let me have a go. I don't want to get carried away guys, but I am, this is fun. You can tell how quiet this place is. You can actually hear the birds and the animals and things like that when you're here. Enough of this. Let's go and check out the actual apartments that they have available. So this place, the apartments are divided into blocks. There's block J, block, I don't know what this one is. There's a couple of blocks. They're all named alphabetically. I think the, the lady told me they're going to actually have names eventually, but they don't have names yet. And the great thing is every block has allocated car parking. There's so much parking here. It's, it's great. Like it's not one of those apartments where the parking is so limited. And the breeze here is something else. Like this is a hot day, you know, and look at me. My makeup is not melting, nothing. So this is one of the car parks that they have available here. It's a very, very spacious um, estate, very roomy, lots of space. Um, it's just, it doesn't feel tight, it doesn't feel confined. And I love that they've put effort into making sure there's a little bit of greenery here as well. That's something a lot of people don't take into consideration when they're building these type of apartments, especially in like a prime location like this. So currently I'm walking towards the backup water tank that they have over here. I'm going to have to find out how many liters it holds, but basically there's nothing like running out of water here. Once Ghana water is turned off, 
there's always water look how big it is it's huge so there's enough water to cover for everybody should there be any issues with ghana water which occasionally there is as you guys know Another thing that's worth mentioning is they do have backup electricity as well. So once the power goes out, there's always power that would run, you know, in replacement of the Ghana Electrical Company, which is also another great um, amenity that they have here. I really like this place, guys. I really, really like it. The first time I came here, I was like, wow, like, how did I not know about this? It's so nice. All right, guys, so we're about to access the apartments now. As you guys saw at the entrance, there's security. So there's security without speaking to security, without them knowing who you're coming to see, they won't let you in. And then once you go past that security and other to access this apartment there's further security so there's an access key card that you have that you just tap once you tap it it opens and then it lets you in you can equally tell whoever it is that you're coming to see that you're coming putting their house number it will ring up there it's just an intercom and then they will let you in as well. So you have two options to access this building. Otherwise, there's no way you can come inside. And this is a proper heavy door too. So it'll be hard to break into it. From what I've seen so far of this place, I don't have any complaints. The lights in these corridors are all sensor lights. So they're off, but as soon as it senses that there's somebody it comes on as well, so that's like, uh, what do you call it? Very eco-friendly, I'd say. Another great thing is you have the option of stairs, the option of lifts. If you're young and like you want to stay skinny like me, then you can use the stairs. But, you know, if you, you're not as mobile, you have the option of the lift as well. So you have all these instructions along here as well, which is great. There's a fire service button here too. With the instructions as well, there's a phone number here for if you have any issues um, in the lift, if you get trapped or whatever, then you can get help with that phone number, which is great. Okay, so let's go. This has five levels. We're going on to level four right now. So we're going to 402. So when you get to where you're going, unless the person on the inside lets you in, you actually need keys to get in here. You can't just enter, which is great. This is the intercom connection that rings when you press the house number downstairs. First things first, we're going to check out this two bedroom apartment. So this is the beautiful um, two bedroom apartment. This is the living area. Very, very spacious. I love that they have these sliding doors right across from me because then that allows a lot of light. You could easily put curtains or blinds here to block out the light when you don't need it, but when you need it, it's great. And then they have a little decent sized balcony that you can put plants on and create a little sitting area here. As you can see, there's a lot of space here. Look how big it is. See, it's, it's fairly big. It's a very decent size. And then if you look at it this way as well, it's a very decent size. And the good thing is you can view your children from upstairs if they're down here playing. And then the summer hut is there and then the pool is there. The view here is really nice. All the balconies are along this side. So you all get a view of the pool, which is a great thing. All right, let's go inside. Let me show you what the kitchen and then the bedrooms and all those type of things look like. So once we come inside, this is the first bedroom you will see on your left hand side. It's a decent sized room. I'd say you could easily fit a queen size bed in here and still have enough space for a wardrobe and everything else that you might need. And another great thing is from this bedroom, you still get a view of the pool and then you get a view of the summer hut as well. So you can have a little holiday being in here. I love that they have this little space here as well. You could put like a dressing mirror or something, whatever it is you want here. And then there's a bathroom on my right hand side. A very decent sized bathroom, decent sized shower. The fittings are nice. And then it has a toilet on my left hand side. So there's a mirror on my left-hand side, a 
And then there's a sink down here and then there's storage down here as well, which is really good. There's more storage up here as well, which is also great. All right, let's go check out the kitchen and then the other bedroom. Now we're in the kitchen. This is the kitchen, very, very spacious again. So lovely for a two bedroom apartment. This is a very, very decent sized kitchen. Very, very spacious. I like the color of the wood that they've chosen for the cabinets and things. I like the countertops as well. This feels like marble, so I think it is marble which you rarely get in homes that are built to sell. Most of the time, they don't use this type of material. And then you have a huge gas cooker up here. I mean, down here, there's also an extractor up here, which is great. And then the sink is right behind me, just here. When it comes to your fridge, you can either put it here because they've allowed a little bit of space here, or you can put it on this side as well because there's a power outlet right there. But I think it makes more sense to have your fridge here. Imagine your fridge being here. You have all the space to do whatever you want. So from the kitchen, you come straight down and this is the bathroom. So we've already seen one bathroom in the first bedroom. This is the guest bathroom, I suppose. This is another spacious bathroom. Same size as what we saw in the master bedroom, basically. And there's hot water here as well. So this building comes with hot water. There's all these added things that are just like, you don't get them anywhere. You know, these are really good incentives to encourage you to buy here. I, I like it. I really do like it. So the storage is the same. They've got storage down the sink. And then they've got storage up here. And then there's a mirror. And then this is the sink. So now we're going to the last bedroom that they have here at the two bedroom apartment. Again, this is another spacious bedroom, very decent size. If you had a queen size bed here, you still have enough space for a wardrobe. You have enough space for a little nightstand as well. Very decent size again. Yeah, we're gonna check out this other two bedroom apartment, which is furnished. So then you get to see how it looks with the bed and with sofa and all those type of things. But I'm sure this has given you a good idea of how spacious this place is. Okay, let's go check out the other two bedroom apartment. Okay, so this is the second two bedroom. This is actually a little smaller than the first one we saw. The first one was 110, this is 109. So as you walk in, first things first, is the kitchen. Once you turn to your left hand side, see this absolutely spacious kitchen. I love how spacious the kitchens are. I said that in the first place, but it's even more apparent here because this is a smaller space. So again, you get a gas cooker. This is a very big size burner. It's like five options and there's an oven down below. Same storage, there's an extractor here. The sink is right here. There's enough countertop space as well to have whatever it is you want on there. And then if you want to have a fridge, you can have it here as well. And I need to mention they do have shell home options as well. But obviously that is not tiled, like all these fittings are not there. So if you want to change the structure of the home to some extent, you can. So that's also an option. So now we're in the living area. This is what the living area looks like for the 101 square meter two bedroom apartment. Again, this is also a very spacious living space. As you can see, there's a couch here, center table. There's another um, cozy chair here, TV here. And this place doesn't feel tight. It's still very roomy. There's so much space in here that they've managed to put a little dining table. I mean, this is not a big dining table, but you could definitely do like a six seater if you wanted to. There's enough space for that. The living area will still not be cluttered. There will still be enough room to move around and things like that. This is very, very well done, well planned. I really, really like it. And another great thing is these guys also have a balcony. So when you open these windows, I mean, these curtains. So this is the balcony for the smaller apartment. Again, the size is not, uh, I think if this balcony might be longer even. It might be longer or the same size as the 110 square meters apartment. I keep mentioning the size because 
a lot of the time when you think about two bedroom, you think maybe it's a small space, but no, this is a very spacious space. You can do a lot with this balcony. So now we're back inside. Once you leave the living area, there's a toilet and bathroom right behind me. Like it's crazy the amount of space they've created here. They have towel racks. There's one here, there's one there. There's a water heater up here as well. Toilet and then the fittings are the same. The mirror is up here, the sink, and then more storage down the bottom. There's a lot of space here, lots and lots of space. You could fit in your washer here as well. They've already provided a tap and power points here so you could put your washer here if you wanted to. Okay. So now we're going to bedroom number one. So as soon as you come into bedroom number one, there's another bathroom here on the right hand side. So I suppose the first one can be your guest bathroom. And then this one can be your main bathroom for your personal use. Same fittings again, mirror, sink, storage space, hot water, toilet, very spacious shower. And then, this room has actually been fitted with a wardrobe already. So you can see that this is the amount of space you're going to have should you decide to have um, like a wardrobe in your bedroom. There's still a decent sized bed. I think this is a king bed. This is a king bed and you still have enough space in this bedroom. Along with the wardrobe, there are two nightstands on the left and right hand side. Decent, decent room. Like, the setup is nice and there's enough space for it. It's great. You could even put a TV across the room if you're one of those people that like to watch TV in your bedroom. I'm not one of those people. Like, do you guys watch TV in your bedroom? There are rules I have. I don't watch TV in my bedroom. I don't eat in my bedroom. Like, I won't even eat a cookie in my bedroom. That's how, like, <laughs> disciplined I am. If you guys have some, like, random rules for your bedroom, let me know in the comment section below. So we're in the second bedroom right now. This place keeps surprising me. This is 101 square meters, two bedroom, but there are three bathrooms. So both bedrooms are en suite and then they have a guest bathroom, which is where I showed you the part that I said you could fit a washing machine in there because they have the tap and then the plugs on the wall and everything like that. As you can see, this place has toilets, shower same fitting same sink same storage same mirror the shower is probably like half the size of the first one that we saw but it's still a very decent size you don't need a shower bigger than this if i'm honest and then there's a toilet right there the space has been so well utilized this is one of the best apartments i've seen to be honest so let me show you the bedroom so this room has been designed to be a kid's bedroom even though you can make it into whatever room you like. There's a small kid's bed here, a little um, library right behind me. There's a wardrobe uh, right on my left-hand side as well. Very decent size. You could change the bed and use a queen bed instead, but you probably won't be able to have this much space for a library. You may be able to have like a smaller space for like two nightstands on both sides and you'll be okay. Two bedroom guys, this is a two bedroom apartment. Okay, so let me go show you the three bedroom apartment now and then they have some houses here on the property as well that I'm going to show to you. So stay tuned and give me a thumbs up if you haven't already. All right guys, now we're in the three bedroom apartment. First things first, once you come inside is the kitchen. The kitchen is on my left hand side. It's a very spacious kitchen again, similar fittings to what we saw in the two bedroom apartment, storage, gas cooker, extractor, more storage down here. There's a sink and then there's a window right across from me. So if you're cooking any of these Ghanaian dishes, you can open it and not worry about like making your house smell like a Benkwai or Momone or something like that, you know? So I hope you guys can see how huge this living space is it's really really big you can have like a dining area here and then you have all this space to put your sofa and tv and whatever it is you keep in your living area so there is a balcony here as well just like we had seen earlier on in the other apartments this is the balcony for the three bedroom this is the one next to the living area you could definitely do a little setup here with plants a nice chair 
those type of things it's enough space you're not facing the side with the pool you're facing the car park and then there's people's houses just on this side as well it's still nice it's still a nice view pretty the homes across have trees and things so it's something nice to look at it's not like some old uncompleted buildings or anything like that so that's a bonus the size of this three bedroom apartment is 125 square meters okay so as we go in the hallway here is also more spacious as you can see and then on my left hand side there is a bedroom that we're going to go check out right now so this is the first bedroom that we're checking out this bedroom is not too too big i'd say this could easily be a kid's room um it's big for a kid's room but for an adult it's not that big but at the same time, you can still have space for a double bed and still a wardrobe and some nightstands. There's enough space for that. Okay, let's check out the next bedroom. Okay, so this is the second bedroom. Again, this is a decent sized bedroom. You could probably do like a double bed, still have a wardrobe and some nightstands and you'd be good. I love that the windows are not some tiny windows. They're big, lots of light coming in, lots of fresh air. This place is very breezy. It's very close to the beach, like I said earlier on. So it really makes a difference on the breeze here. You probably will still want to have AC, but you probably won't need to use it as often because it's nice and cool here. Okay, so before we go to the next bedroom, there's a bathroom, a shared bathroom just here. This has similar fittings to the other bathrooms that we've seen. There's a sink, there's storage underneath, storage on top, mirror, shower, toilet behind me. They've already put in the railings for towels and things like that, which is nice. We're going to go into the last bedroom, which is a master bedroom. So as you can see, the master bedroom is nice and spacious. It's big, bigger than all the other two rooms that we saw. You could definitely have a queen size bed here and still have some two nightstands in here all comes to how you decorate it you know what i mean but this is spacious enough okay so this is the master bedroom's bathroom this is similar fittings to what we saw but this is a little bit bigger so the sink is bigger the mirror is double and then there's two wardrobes unlike the other ones where it was just one uh, not wardrobe <laughs> two storage door like two doors that you open to access the storage behind the mirror there's two of them but the other ones it was just one there's more storage in here and then the sink is bigger as well and then the storage down the bottom here is a lot more as well than there was in the other ones they do have water heating in here as well and then um the toilet is right across from me and so is the shower so the three bedroom is a lot more spacious there's obviously extra rooms in here as well so if that's what you prefer you have that option i'm going to be talking to you guys shortly about the pricing but before we do that let's go and check out the homes that they have available as well while we're here i thought i would showcase the houses that the same developers that put together the apartments that i showed you just then have put together as well this is not far from their apartments at all this is like two minutes away this is another complex with beautiful spacious homes clearly space is very important to these developers because these homes are massive you rarely see this in gated communities a lot of the time gated community homes are a lot smaller but this is a very decent sized house it's 70 by 70 square meters come inside let's check out this four bedroom house that's on the other side of the apartment um, complex that i showed you earlier on this is also another beautiful community so once we're inside you can see there's a lovely spacious little corridor here very very beautiful you could set up a little welcoming table thing here on the right hand side and then you could probably even put a carpet here if you wanted. And then once you come further in, you turn to the left side and that's where the living area is. This is massive. This is spacious. Very, very decent sized living area. This is definitely something that somebody will probably personally build for themselves because the space is so much. You can see that a lot of thought has been put into it. So after that living area once you come through there's another family area just here 
So you could use this for whatever you wanted, I guess. It could be a second living room or whatever you wanted, basically. Another spacious little space that they've created here. And on the left-hand side is the kitchen. So this kitchen is massive, okay? You could definitely have a big family here and everybody will be comfortable with no problems, you know. Look at this amount of um, cabinet space down here. Look at the amount of storage here. They, they have an extractor here. There'll be a gas cooker here like there is in all the other apartments that I showed you earlier on. Absolutely beautiful. Very, very big. They do have a backyard here as well, which is spacious. Let me show you. As you can see, there's a huge backyard here. There's space out the front and there's space out the back as well, as well as along here. So even if you put your drying lines here, there's still space over there for your kids to play or for whatever, whatever you want to do. You could do a little play area here if you wanted even. Look, look how big it is. See, it's actually really, really big. You don't really find this in estates, believe me. I've done a lot of exploration and there's a storage, a water storage tank just down the back there as well. All right, let's go back inside. Let me show you the rest of the house. Okay, so now we're back in the kitchen again. On my right-hand side, there's a little storage room. It's not too big, but it's decent. You could make a pantry if you put some shelves in here. You could definitely have a little pantry here. Right across from the entrance to the kitchen is the first bedroom that's downstairs. I guess this could be your guest bedroom if you wanted it to be. Here it is. Very decent sized bedroom. You could definitely have a queen bed in here if you wanted to, and then still have room for nightstands. And then they have its own suite, so it has its own toilet and bathroom as well. So in here, the fittings are similar to what we saw in the apartment. Mirror, and then storage down here, and just a little bit of storage here. The shower size is basically similar to what we saw over on the other side, and then there's a toilet here as well. Okay, so right after you come out of that living area that I spoke to you about earlier on, there's a little garage right on the right-hand side. So this is the garage, very spacious. This is probably a one-car garage. I don't think you could fit two cars in here, unless they're very small cars. Yeah, so here you go. There's not much to it. It has this um, thing that rolls up and down. Spacious, you could use it for storage or you could use it as a car garage, whatever you prefer. Once we come back inside, there's another toilet downstairs. So if you have guests, they don't have to use the bathroom in the guest room if you don't want them to. They can use this one just under the stairs. This is probably the first time that I've seen this type of space utilization where they put a toilet underneath the staircase. Great use of space, absolutely. And it's not like it's a small bathroom or anything. It's a very decent sized bathroom. As you can see, look, there's so much space here. Look, all this. The toilet is on this side and then the mirror and the sink are right across from me. And then there's a little tap here. So you could even do put your laundry and things in this space. Okay, so now we're heading upstairs to check out the bedrooms up there. Even the stairs is wide. Like it's not some narrow, tiny staircase that they've put together. It's wide. This is very spacious, you guys. It's a proper house, you know, like a proper, you know, something I'll build for myself, that type of thing. It's not like I'm scrambling for space or anything like that. They've created more space here for a little family area as well. You know, generally these areas are not that big, but here, very, very spacious. Okay, let's check out the first bedroom on my right hand side. So this is the first bedroom we're in. Again, decent size, similar to the size of the bedroom we saw downstairs. This is ensuite as well. You could definitely fit a queen bed in here still have a wardrobe and some nice things and you still have enough space and then let's check out the bathroom i'm sure it's similar to all the other bathrooms we've seen earlier on so again similar bathroom same fitting same mirror same 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 storage and then the shower is right across from me and then there's a toilet as well they have the towel racks up there as well right across from this room there's another bedroom just here 
this one is ensuite as well same size as the bedroom we saw on the opposite end everything is literally the same um they have a bathroom in here as well this is a much bigger bathroom much much bigger than the other one we saw even though the room size is the same but same fitting same toilet same sink same everything and then they have the water heater in here as well and then the toilet is here and the shower is probably a little bit bigger than what we saw in that first room as well so this is the most spacious room of them all this is the master bedroom very very big as you can see lots of room i don't even know what you could do with this space to be honest because it's so big you could have whatever size bed you want king bed queen bed whatever you could have probably three of them even if you wanted that's how much space there is the windows are positioned in such a way that you can have cross ventilation as well which is amazing you got one here and you got one on the opposite end as well and then they do have a bathroom in here which is on my right hand side this is a lot bigger the sink and then the what do you call it the cabinets and those type of things is a lot bigger the sink is wider toilet and then you get a bathtub as well you get a really decent sized bathtub in here and then the shower is on the other end this is amazing this was beautiful absolutely stunning and then there's a towel rack just up here as well as well as in the shower i'm going to show you the final bedroom in this four bedroom spacious absolutely beautiful home and that's in here oh my goodness you guys this place is full of surprises this is another huge 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 bedroom so i was like the other room is the master bedroom but now i don't know because this is almost just as big it's i think it's the same size as the room we just came from very very big lots of light coming in with those windows on the left and the right hand side and then the bathroom is on this side let me show you the bathroom so this bathroom is also very big not as big as the first one i showed you earlier on but still a decent size as you can see the shower is a lot bigger than what we've seen in some of the other rooms and the other apartments but this is massive even though there's no bathtub here again hot water the sink and then the mirror is basically the same as we've seen in the other smaller bathrooms and then there's a toilet right here as well and the other thing about this room is it has a balcony it has a balcony so let's go and see that so this is the balcony right next to the last bedroom very very spacious you could definitely have some potted plants here a nice sitting area really really big the view is nice as well a lot of the homes are already occupied so you see people sitting out the front of their houses and that kind of thing really nice the view is beautiful look so much greenery that's another thing that i really appreciate about this place they have a lot of greenery like they they have a lot of plants along the roads and then they have grass and then they have space for landscaping if you come in and you want to make it however you please absolutely beautiful and just like that that completes the tour of the beautiful apartments and then the beautiful homes in Sakumono, Greater Accra region. One of my favorite properties I've explored so far up until date. And now the part that everybody has been waiting for. Here are the prices of the properties that we toured earlier on today. The two bedroom starts at 101,700 US dollars. Three bedroom starts at 133,800 US dollars. And then finally, the massive, beautiful home that I showed you, the four bedrooms, they start at 310,500 US dollars. I think they're fairly priced. I think they're reasonable for what you get. All right, guys, I think these are very decently priced for what you get. They're really, really great offers. If you guys are interested in any of the properties that I've showed in this video today, send me an email at jasmine at jasmineamma.com or you can send me a WhatsApp message at plus 233-593-8659. Some people might try to call me. Please don't. Just send me a message and then I'll get back to you. And then if we need to have a phone conversation, we can do that. So please send me a message if you're interested. I may be able to get you a sneaky discount. 
you never know anyways guys i hope you guys have enjoyed the video don't forget to give me a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already don't forget to follow your bliss so now life is short follow your bliss na ni pa e den follow your bliss na di be si bia ye and follow your bliss na den e mada take care guys i'll see you in the next one bye